Dad, mm. why is it customary for a woman to cook in a marriage? Well, by law, you have to feed the prisoner. Dang. Dad? incited the erection to put it in law there may be litigation but we will be in a much better position than um than to not do that and you know listen women are getting pregnant every day in america and this is a real issue and we need to act with a sense of haste about what is at play what is at stake and codifying roe will be an important um, moment in terms of putting back in place protections for for the folks who are at risk right now because of what the court did in Dobbs just weeks ago. Incited the erection. Um, we do have seen now two cases that have occurred in children. Both of those children um, are traced back to uh, individuals who come from the men who have sex with men community, the gay men, uh, men community. Um, and so when we have seen those cases in children, they have generally been what I call adjacent to the community. weeks ago. This is how President Biden described America in one word. Could you please tell me what that word means? Could you even say the word? Congressman, I'm not in the habit of trying to read transcriptions. You yourself questioned Donald Trump's mental state of mind in September of 2019 when you stated to CNN, if our presidency is not in good shape, then our country is not in good shape. I could not agree with you more. And inflation's at 9.1%. Gas prices are through the roof. Our adversaries are exploiting our weaknesses across the globe. And our southern border is non-existent. The left and the dishonest media began questioning President Trump's mental state back in February of 2017, a month into his presidency. We now have President Biden in office for 18 months. He shakes hands with ghosts. He falls off bicycles. Even at the White House Easter celebration, the Easter Bunny had to guide him back into his safe place. Cue cards that say sit here or end of speech, which he actually states, that is, if he stays Brett awake. Remains the sick and sinister and very evil people from within our country. Guys like Schiff and people like crazy Nancy Pelosi, she's nuts, I'm telling you, she's a nut job. I mean, you talk about people in politics, look at her husband, every time something happens, he goes out and he buys stuff, he's made a lot of money, he made a hundred million dollars, she started off with nothing. And she does have a big wall around her house, by the way, even though she fought us like crazy in the world, but she's crazy, she's nuts, I'm telling you, she's a psycho. <laughs> Never forget, everything this, I mean, how can they allow a person to make all that money and the press barely wants to cover it. It's called inside trading. Insider trading. Everything this corrupt establishment is doing to me is all about preserving their power and control over the American people. They're sick. They want to damage me in any form so I can no longer represent you. Obviously, they want me not to be the candidate because they never For all of these reasons, I have decided that the global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. The real story is the President of the United States is 79 years old and has a, how to put it, complicated medical history, and now he's got COVID. So what does that mean? Well, sincerely, we hope he's going to be okay. We do know he's going to lose his sense of smell, maybe forever. What does that mean? No more sniffing little girls. If you're Joe Biden and your main source of pleasure at this late stage in your life is sniffing the hair, of unsuspecting, defenseless little girls, and then you can't even smell it? Imagine that. Let's say you're riding your bike and you see a little girl and you think, oh, I'd love to sniff her hair. Oh man, no sense of smell. So actually, the costs of COVID are a little more profound than sometimes we understand.